Hello, this is Warlord. We're going to take a look at using Marvelous Designer to make a hood for this default character. We'll go through the UV mapping and also how to use sculpting to smooth it out while we're in Marvelous Designer. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go to File, Export, OBJ, Character with Current Pose, Y Up. Uh, you can export materials. Uh, if you want to, if it helps you visualize it, we will in this case. You don't have to export materials if you're just putting an avatar over into something like Marvelous Designer. I'm going to go ahead and remove the hidden mesh because we don't need it. Hit OK. And then here we'll go into wherever we're going to save it. And as you can see, I've already saved it. So we'd go ahead and save here. And then from here, we'll move on over into Marvelous Designer. Go to File. Add avatar navigate to where you save hit OK and it should come in in the center it's like we see right here now we're just going to start off simple with just a triangle of cloth I am going to put two clicks down here you'll see why as we move on now the great thing about Marvelous Designer is you can change it as you're working with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the metric pattern with sewing. Not so much for the sewing, but for the edit editing changes as we go along. That way what we do on one will be automatically reflected to the other. Now from here, we'll just put them into place. Now this doesn't have to, if you've never worked with this before, this doesn't have to be precise placement. But it, it does affect how it drapes. But you'll see what we're talking about as we go along here. Okay, something kind of like that. And now we can come in here. And what we're using is our edit curvature. And we can do some curving. Grab it and pull it up. Same thing over here. Oh, we want to go up this way on this. You'll see all in a minute what we're doing. I'm just kind of, as you can see, we're kind of getting the shape of a funky looking hood. And don't be surprised if the first time you run the simulation it just falls right off. That happens quite a bit. And you don't have to line things up exactly as I'm doing it. Things don't have to be near as precise as it seems. Now we're ready to go ahead and sew it. We're not going to have much to sew. In fact, for right now, that's pretty much it. Now comes the fun part. Let's see what happens. Okay, not too bad. We don't have enough cloth in the back. So, this is where you just start doing different things. Since we use symmetry, all we've got to do is move one. When you light them up, when you see this yellow and this blue, you'll always grab the blue one. Because, I mean, sorry, the yellow one. Because that moves both. If you just want to move one, you'd move the blue one. Let's re-simulate. And you can see how it's going down the back here. As I lengthen that out. Now I think we're going to probably need to work on this curvature a little more here. Kind of get back what we had. That's just personal preference there though. Now you can see how we've already draped just a simple little hood. And one thing you need to get used to is working with this and pulling it around in simulation mode. And it's going to fall off many times uh, until you get used to it. But just keep working on it. You don't really have to worry about things like the ears and stuff like that right away. 
Uh, in fact, you can do that with sculpting and other things. I'm starting to get the picture there of how it drapes. Now let's take a look at wrapping this, at draping this. I'm going to select one side of it, right click and hide 3D pattern. It's still there and it'll still be working. I'm going to turn this on on simulation. And then you have to grab it and hold with the button. And you can drape it. Now what you'd want to do like right there I'm going to stop and hit space bar to stop the simulation. Then I'm going to grab it, hit space bar. Stop simulation again. Kind of grab it and hit the space bar there. Now this is a little bit long here. Now you can continue to drape from here. Or you can go ahead and go to pin to, let's see, what is it, tack on avatar? Yeah, tack on avatar. Always move it a little bit back, away from it. And let's see how that works. It moved it around, but not exactly like I wanted it to. There we go. Now we can sit here and pull this all day long and get it in different ways. I'm just showing you the idea of how it works. And uh, let's see, show all 3D pattern. Now let's see what we can do with the other one. We've got that pinned up. Now I have no idea how you would actually wrap something like a head wrap or a, something like that. I'm just trying to get it to where it kind of looks like it is. And I'm not going to tell you that you'd want to wrap yours the way I'm going to wrap mine. But you're starting to see how this works, aren't you? Not that difficult, just like everything I do. If I'm doing it, it's not that hard. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Attack on Avatar. Let's see how that works. Attack on Avatar is a bit dependent to where you place it. Depend on the cloth, but you'll find that out too. You work with it. Tie it in. Let's see where we're at. It's wrapped, not exactly like I want it wrapped. But you could go in there and redo that, pull it around, do it however you want to do it. But I've done enough to show you the basic concepts of it. If you didn't like the point, you could come back over here and change it by bringing this, uh, one of the points back or both points back. We're just going to leave that for right now. And next we'll go into sculpting. Now sculpting was a, is a fantastic addition to Marvelous Designer. It lets you come in here and straighten out some of the things that may be pretty sharp. Like this is all kind of a mess in here and uh, smooth out some of the some of the lines on the wrinkles and things and of course over here you've got your strength things like that I generally just as you can see here you you can overdo it so you have to be careful but all I'm wanting to do is take some of this edge out some of this sharp edge I'm just coming in to soften this up a bit And hopefully, we'll remove some of that. Yeah, just some of that sharpness. And I'm certainly not an expert on working with the sculpting part of this. I haven't done it that much. 
but I sure do like how you can make quick changes. Do not run your simulation after you sculpt, though. If you go back in and run your simulation, you just wiped out all the changes you made in sculpting, because it's going to re-simulate it, put some harsh edges back on it. Now, you could also change all this by uh, going in and changing your cloth simulation property. But that takes time. Who wants to do that? Probably why they added this. Anyway, this gives you an idea of just how to smooth that out with the sculpt. Now, on our way back up to simulation, let's stop by the UV editor. Whatever you have in here, no matter how many pieces of cloth you have, whatever it is that you're exporting at that moment, has to be in this zero block right here. So, what we have to do is move these down here to this block and make them fit. Now, you may have your own preference as to how you do that. But you can see here, zero to one, it needs to fit right in there. And that will give you good UVs, good simple UV mapping. Now we're ready to go back to simulation, but do not run the simulation. We're just ready to export now. So let's select our hood, file, export, OBJ selected. As you can see, I've already got some hood done there. We'll just call this Hood 4. <clears throat> Excuse me, Hood 4. And now we're ready to go see how it works over here in Character Creator. I'm going to just bring it in as an accessory. Hood 4. Looks like it came in just fine. Of course, we can transfer our skin weight. You can put it as hair. I usually do other. Now, it doesn't have physics, but you can take it into iClone and put physics in it or add a physics map here. But there, we've got it back into CC3. Okay, I've sent it over to iClone. So with it selected, let's go activate physics, weight map. And I think for this one, you can just use that. Sorry, let me go back where you can see it. That soft cloth 28. And darken your brightness a little bit. And you can see there, it depend, this area here will kind of depend on what is reacting to the soft cloth and what isn't. If you don't have enough, it'll fall off. Or you might be able to remove gravity, but you can get your own setting for it. Now, you'd want to take a lot more time than, than I took when I draped this over in Marvelous Designer. But all I want to do was show you the basic concept of how to set up the cloth and how to edit that cloth. You know, we started off with just a simple straight edge triangle and ended up with, uh, with a rounded pattern. So, it certainly wasn't rocket science. And as you can see here, once you learn to use Tackle and Avatar, a few things like that, then you can wrap all kinds of things. So anyway, I hope this helped.